Hey guys, I'm back with another stamp design video, and this time, I know I say this every time, but this time I am really, really excited about the stamp that I get to unveil for you. So I came up with this idea of doing a Viking cross axes, and you know, at first he started out as a zombie. I thought that zombie was pretty cool, but it turns out that zombie head Viking has been done several times before, and I don't like rehashing existing stuff, so I decided to go with just like a regular human Viking head. And as I mentioned before in one of my previous videos, Mess with the Hunk, Get the Bonk, Goose Gang Stamp, I really like photography, and I specialized in kind of like studio lighting, portrait lighting photography. So in this image, the Viking is uplit from the bottom, so the, the main light source would be from the bottom. You see like the highlights on his lip, the highlights on the bottom of his cheekbones, and that makes underneath his eyes lit up, and I think it looks really cool. I dig it. I'm, I'm happy with it. So I like that because that's the kind of lighting that movies use when they want to make something look menacing and mean. And that was the look I was going for for this Berserker. So I think it fits and works pretty well. But the real reason I'm excited about this, you, you guys know how I like to push the boundaries on my stamps. But this one, this is really cool because I've never seen anybody do anything like this. So these dies are actually textured. And I could put random texture patterns into the die so that when they stamp the foil, the foil ends up having that same texture. So it's no longer just foil on plastic, defining shape and form and line and stuff like that. You also have the added texture. So on the wood slats of the shield, there's a wood grain texture. And similarly, on the axe handles, there's a wood grain texture. His skin has a texture, his hair has a different texture, the helmet has a different texture. We ended up with seven different textures all in this one stamp. But as excited as I am about to talk about all this, I'm going to have to leave some of the detail for an upcoming interview where I actually sit down and talk with Alex Birmingham, the guy who stamped these. So we will sit down, we'll go in depth, and we'll discuss all the things that make this a truly unique stamp that you are only going to be able to get from DGU. I'll leave it there. There's a little bit of a cliffhanger. Please go watch that next interview when I put it up. It will be really fun. And like I said, I am really excited about this. Okay. Thanks a lot, guys. I'll catch you next time. Bye.